What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in we are entering the month of April 2025 and this month is going to be quite exciting for a lot of Samsung Galaxy phone users out there if not the mid-ranges and the lower end devices the flagship phone owners will be quite excited for sure because the One UI 7 stable version will be released starting from 7th of this month. The S24 series is already on 6th beta that will be the last beta and we can expect the stable version of One UI 7 on 7th onwards and it looks like the Galaxy S23 series is also going to get the One UI 7 stable version this month itself along with the Galaxy S24 series. S23 series is already on beta 2 and it looks like this could be the last beta. The phone is quite stable and apparently this is the last beta. I'm not 100% sure but that is what it looks like. So S23 series also should be getting the stable version this month itself. Now in the midst of all this, there is one more exciting news that is about the One UI 8 based on Android 16 which is being spotted on the Galaxy S25 series this month. And now we have got more leaks about this. The same device is running on Android 16 on the Geekbench and you can see the Geekbench scores here. Single core score 3135, multi core score 9938 and it says operating system is Android 16 and the Samsung model is SMS9318 and under memory information you can see the size is about 10.79 GB. Now this is definitely exciting because this time around we don't really have to wait for One UI 8. There won't be any prolonged delays like the One UI 7. So that is something which is pretty cool. In the same year in 2025 we are going to get the One UI 7 and I think the One UI 8 beta will also be released very very soon probably in the next three to four months. And apparently One UI 8 may not be bringing in as many features as the One UI 7. We are anticipating some incremental features on One UI 8. The One UI 7 is a major upgrade that we have got so far on Samsung Galaxy phones. And as for Samsung, that is the reason they delayed this particular update. But I don't think there will be any reason to delay One UI 8 this time. Let's wait and see that. I will keep you guys posted about all the new features, the new updates about One UI 8. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone. Now there is one more thing I am disappointed with Samsung right now. That is about the availability of GoodLock application worldwide. They did announce that they will be making the GoodLock application available globally. But it's been a while and I still don't don't see it happening. It is really frustrating to wait for something which these companies announce and promise. Right now good luck is still available in a very few countries. Let me know whether you have got good luck in your country or not. Do mention your country in the comment section that would be interesting to see. Samsung did revamp the entire good luck application with the all new layout, new design, new widgets etc. But it looks like they have forgotten about what they really announced about good luck. I hope they make it available soon because good luck is something which makes Samsung Galaxy phones really powerful when it comes to functionalities and uh, additional customizations. So Samsung, please make GoodLock available across the globe. We would really appreciate that. Now on GoodLock, Samsung did announce a couple of brand new modules, the new applications which are currently available only in Korea. That is the Display Assistant and Game Booster Plus. Now these applications are not available yet on our Galaxy phones. Of course the Display Assistant can be uh, installed using the APK. However, officially we don't have these two modules. I hope Samsung make these also available on the Galaxy phones which support GoodLock application. Now let's talk about the One UI 7 compatibility. Almost all the GoodLock modules are now compatible on One UI 7 except for the Navstar. NAV Star module is not yet compatible on the Galaxy S25 series One UI 7. On the GoodLock app, it is still showing in grey color the app icon and it is not active when we tap on that it just says we are preparing the update. Please try again if you see an update available indicator. So as of now there is no indication about the update. But Clockface and Lockstar both are now available for the Galaxy S25 series running on stable One UI 7 and the Galaxy S24 series and S23 series running on One UI 7 beta. This is it. This is something I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I hope as promised we are going to get the One UI 7 stable release from 7th of April. I will keep you guys posted about this so be sure to subscribe subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. There are some amazing new wallpapers which are being added every day. If you want to get rid of the ads, go for premium version. It is quite reasonably priced for a lifetime subscription. Go ahead, check it out. The download link is in the description and yeah, do not forget to review this application on Play Store. That encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. Give it a 5 star and write a quick review if you can. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.